So I'm back home from church and it's like a few hours later and I'm just cooking some noodles because I want spaghetti and it was rainy today. It's all gloomy today. Like look. But it's good though. It's good it rained, but it rained all on me and my beautiful makeup. But it looks nice outside. Like, I'm about to show y'all the clouds and everything. Look at that. So beautiful. Like, mwah. I love the sun, too. The sun is my favorite, favorite, favorite. Okay, I'm just making some spaghetti. Waiting for these noodles to, you know, soften up. I'm using fettuccine noodles this time around because... I'm gonna put some oil in it. In there. Can't find the top to my oil. So I gotta put something over it. But. Put some oil in there. So I'm hoping by the next 10 minutes it'll be done. Um, I've been getting a lot of like scams and a lot of like stuff in my email. And I'm like, what? Like, what is this? What exactly is going on? After, you know, finding my church and everything and I've been getting a lot of that, and somebody's trying to scam me. Somebody really is trying to scam me, and they're not close to it because I keep opening it. And then once I open it and be like, "Nah, I ain't gonna do it," I close out of it, and um, then another one comes, and then another one comes, and then they be just coming so sporadically through the night when I'm asleep sometimes wakes me up <laughs> I'll wake me up when it's all over that just came to my head anyways um but I've been really stinky lately I'm not I'm not even gonna cap like I've been really smelly lately like my armpits have been just been <laughs> And I'm like, I can't really wear deodorant because I'm allergic to deodorant. So, yeah, I'm, I'm allergic to it. So, like, the aluminum in it, like, does not cooperate with me. There's not anything. Like, I do not like aluminum. Aluminum doesn't like me. Um, I also don't like steel, like, Cooking with even aluminum makes my hands red, super red. So I'm kind of allergic to aluminum and I just love seeing that. It. It's so beautiful, like, it's just so beautiful. And yeah, I've just been going to church daily, just trying to relieve some of this psychiness, whatever black magic, whoever doing black magic on me, you know, just because I've been trying to find somebody and we found each other. They know my name now, so it's been working a little bit more. But it's not gonna work anymore because my angels got me, my God got me, my spirits got me, everything got me, my my Jesus got me, everybody got me. And whatever they doing on me, it's gonna come back right on them and they not gonna be happy about it. They really not. Um, I've been noticing like certain certain parts of my body poking out like my chest area like right there like, I don't know like I've never seen my collarbones before and it, it freaks me out sometimes because I did lose like a good 20 pounds within the la last two weeks and I haven't been eating like my normal self at all I've been changing my diet 
I've been changing everything and just so that I can have a clear mind and kind of work easier and more. And um, I'm going back and forth pacing because I got a lot to clear off of my chest. Um, I went and found this place. It's so beautiful. It's like, so me. And I went to this boutique with, it was like a clothing boutique. And it had the perfect dresses that I love wearing. And I just love, 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 love this place. Like, everything about it, I just dream about it. And I dream about it. <laughs> and it's, like, coming true. And everything's just so beautiful. And <laughs> I just love it. Um, there's this river that I go by and I walk. Uh, I'm going to take y'all later on, like, with me. Maybe tomorrow when I wake up after church or before church. I'll take y'all with me. And um, y'all will just come along with me. And we'll just talk about some things. Um, I don't have a job. I'm currently looking for a job. But it's so hard. Sorry, y'all. It's so hard to find this job that I want. The dream job. But... Even the ones that not that's not my dream job that I'm trying to get still hasn't even contacted me. Still haven't. So I'm I'm waiting. I'm waiting on it. And I think whoever's doing black magic on me is really, you know, doing black black magic around people that I'm around. So I'm not it's it's really hard for me to get a job. It's really hard for me for other people to listen to me. Because the first thing that comes to their head is, wow, this girl, she needs medication. She needs help. She needs something. Like, she's not straight. And I'm like, you know what? You're not straight. You're the one that's cricket. You're the one that's missing an eyeball. And <laughs> y'all the ones that can't focus for real. Because I'm the one that can figure out numbers and figure out when, what the weather is going to be the next few weeks. I can do that. Because I know how to add in real math. And I know how to figure out where to go to find my twin flame. And I finally found it. And I figured out the math and the equation. And I could figure out the equation even more. So, period. I don't figure out the equation. And the equation that they have now, <laughs> it's twisted. <laughs> Very twisted. So, <laughs> you know, um... I figured out the equation. I figured out it was me. So I'm I'm coming here to give back what it really, really, really deserves what I deserve. And I'm not saying maybe in a unpeaceful way. I'm I'm coming in peace. I'm coming in peace because that's just how things should work. And I'm telling you guys, I know my angels got me, and I know God got me, and I know I have faith and so much hope. That I'm gonna get it. I'm going I'm going to. And yeah, it's actually going good because I'm doing good. So yeah, just have faith in me. Um I feel good about everything going on. I'm going to live until eternity. And I'm saying a human body also, like, yes, I am. And I will. And even though people want to put me in, in, in this casket, they want to put me in this casket because of how they're t taught, it's not going to happen because unless they want to be in a casket, they want to be in a casket too? Hmm. I thought about that too. And I don't use any spells to do on people. I only protect me. That's the only thing. I protect myself. And um, it's always me that's first. So, yeah. Um, I just know that karma is a bitch. And a lot of people that mess with me. And I had a lot of karma going on since I was a baby. Kind of, Kind of just followed me up until now and I'm realizing that that karma wasn't even my karma it was somebody else's karma that they put on me 
that I was going through because they didn't want to go through it. And <laughs> it makes sense. So now it's been reversed and they're getting that karma back and they're getting that karma. So yeah, I've been trying, I've been, I've been more peaceful, more calm, more states of mind, more free, more, mm, let's say more gentle, more, you more just me. Like I can figure out stuff I couldn't figure out. Like math and stuff like that stuff was so hard for me i couldn't figure it out like i still had to ask siri like what it is but i can put it together and then take that and then make it into something else and it'll make sense like i can go around math equations and then still get the equation like you feel me like I'm trying to see if these noodles are done I need more time. But yeah, just um you just wanna stay to your complete true self. Y'all wanna try to be like everybody else. Um be yourself, be happy, be be positive. Don't try to listen to everybody who says do this and do that. Like, follow your heart and follow your brain. Your heart will tell you if it's right. And your brain will tell you if it's the right way to go. And, yeah, it's just, it will work, it will work out. And everything will be great. So, yeah. Be peaceful. Be yourself. Love y'all. Talk to y'all when my food's done. Okay? Okay.